This year is called Old Pal Bashes Meghan Markle for Making Prince Harry Forget Everything Before Her from June 1st, 2024. And you know what? I think that's one thing, or maybe the main thing, people have got this issue with. I gotta admit, it's not totally abnormal. Someone starts a relationship and they change, but it's extreme in this case. You know, he was a royal. Is a royal. I'm kind of confused. But anyway, he had a fan base, he had respect, and it just seems like that didn't mean so much. It seems like when she came in, it's like, okay, well, you know, if she wants to do this now, I guess we'll do this. It seemed out of character. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Everything's been shared by a former close friend of Meghan Markle, Lizzie Cundy. Meghan Markle spelt wrong, by the way. Only Geo News for that stuff, but all right, guys. She weighed in on everything during a candid interview with GB News. She began the entire conversation by explaining, I knew a lot of Harry's former friends, and he has let them go. That's just sad, man. Everyone's got their own situation with friends and things like that. But in general, as far as your best friends, your partner should be accepting of them and kind of get to know them in a way. And things shouldn't change so much with them. At least that's how my life's been. I got married, and my core friends are still all there, basically. They're not close with my wife, but she knows them, jokes about them, you know, how are they doing once in a while, how are their kids, and, you know, it's pretty normal. I can't think of a good reason to let your friends go, as they say, because of a relationship or marriage or whatever. Sure, with room for some exceptions for who knows why. And these are friends that went on holiday with him to Vegas. He used to go and watch them play rugby. I remember a time being at a private club in Mayfair and Harry walked with all the England rugby squad. He was one of the lads. He loved his friends and he's totally disconnected with them. According to Cundy, since 2020, he's really been in touch with any of his old friends who actually were there to support him. She also took a trip down memory lane during her chat and issued a reminder to the prince about his pals. Don't forget, Harry had quite a lot of bad press when he dressed up in a n-word uniform not that n-word but the other n-word and all those stories about his love life were plastered on the front of the papers she said after all it was his mates that picked him up and looked after him it's very sad that he seems to have forgotten about them now and i can relate to this one a lot of times i read these about harry and megan it's kind of interesting it never ends and that's kind of the point but this one kind of hits home more than usual because friends are pretty important to me and have been for quite a while and to see harry getting into this now his family's messed up his friends are messed up with him eh, feels yucky man and they keep trending and the media will not stop following these two so i guess i will as well this just seems like one little more piece of proof that, in fact, Megan might not have been so good for him. And he's the one who's taken most of the, if not pretty much all of the, negativity that comes with this relationship. Anyway, that's the news. Geo News Entertainment doesn't have the best writing. They don't have much detail. But they've got stuff up there every single day, all the time. So, as far as surface level and just getting, you know, the first peak of the news, they're not that bad. And I must say, they don't tend to take sides. They just kind of report it, which I gotta like. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna guess a lot of people feel like me that relationships shouldn't really affect good friendships. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.